Now it's time for our suit and tie donuts. Who loves donuts more than dad? So this Father's Day, we're showing you a fun, sassy design for Father's Day donuts. What I have in front of me is our Dawn Exceptional Raised A Donut Mix. So we have prepared these exactly to bag directions and we've cut our donuts for Long John's. These were fried and cooled a little bit earlier today. I'm going to dip them in my Dawn Exceptional White Flat Icing. So really simple, just dip it like you normally would and that's it. I have three designs, but the key here is that we're gonna let these donuts set up completely um, and then we're gonna go back in and drop in a buttercream design. Once the flat icing has set up, we're going to pipe our tie designs onto it. And tie isn't the kind that somebody wears with a suit, but I'm gonna use a little paring knife here to give me kind of a, an, an outline, if you will. So I'm going to kind of make it look like a suit tie here, and then I'm gonna bring it out on each side, just gently, and then down. Now, an easy way to remember this is it needs to look a lot like a goldfish, actually. So you're gonna kind of do one triangle with a second larger diamond on top of it. Just real rough is fine. It doesn't have to be perfect because we know that when we're in production shops, we don't have time to make things perfect. We've just got to get them out. Once that is done, I am going to pipe on my designs. Here you can see my color palette for my suit and tie donuts. My inspiration for these colors was a 1970s leisure suit because that made me think of a fun Father's Day color palette. You can use whatever you like, just make sure that you tone them down a little bit so it feels like a garment someone would wear. And you can tone those down by adding just a touch of brown into the buttercream. So any uh, base for the tie is going to be a basket weave tip and then the details are going to be small star tips. So you really need two tips for this. You need your basket weave tip, you need a star tip. You could use a regular star tip, an open tip, a French tip, whatever you like, as long as it's a smaller star tip. Then we have to think about our color combinations. So I'll just go ahead and start with one. I'm gonna start with my light blue. I'm going to take the basket weave tip with the basket part facing up, and I'm going to draw in some stripes right along my lines. Essentially, this would be like the tail of the fish for the top part of the tie. And now I'm going to bring it the other way. It's important that you, with the texture, draw your texture in one way and then the other. Basket weave goes down first. After basket weave is down, take that same color in a small tar star tip. And now I am going to create the external part. Flat at the bottom for the fishtail, up, around for the tie, and down. Then out for the bottom of the tie, and your diamond, and back in. Now it's time to add the details. These ones are gonna be polka dotted. So any place where I have some negative space where I maybe didn't get it with my star tip, I'm gonna fill it in with the polka dot so that nobody ever knows. There we go. At least three on the top. The eye likes odd numbers. If you do just twos, it will feel uncomfortable to the eye. You might not realize that that's why it is, but it does. Always in designs, kick design, pleating, whatever it is, odd numbers. Okay. That is our tie number one. Tie number two is we are going to use greens and yellows. So remember for these ties, we don't want to be, want to be too highly decorated. So either stripes or polka dots is the best. Donuts for Dad.